God, as these are his daughters marching. Yep, thanks for marching. Yep, we remember Dawn, for sure. Here representing our own local AOH is the Hibernian Pipes and Drums. Carrying the lead banner for Division 36 is Sheila Reedy and Dave Clark. Sheila is the president of Dave. Uh, is a member of the men, AOH, and the Cultural Center. This band was founded in 1998 with the help of the AOH divisions in Manchester, New Hampshire, and Watertown. Every year, it's great, and thanks for your float. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. How was marching? Did you have fun? Good, good. Mass College of Pharmacy and Health is uh, sponsoring South High Band, who last year won the Harp Award. <laughs> 75 members here, City Band, South High School. All right, let's hear it for South High School. Woohoo! I said they were the winners of the 2014 Harp Award from the parade. And Urban's and uh, Rudin's graphics. John, yeah. Huh? John, John has been an award winner in the past, Rudin's graphics. John is part of the Blackstone Pool. Woo! And coming up, sponsored by Congressman Jim McGovern, is the Douglas High School Band. They have 60 members. They've traveled extensively. They won first prize in our parade in 2009. Also march in the Columbus Day Parade. We have a float as well, and this is sponsored by Mayor Joseph Petty. And here he is, Mayor Petty, coming along. This is really a sight to be seen, these dancers. As far as I can see from right here. And Kelly Green entertaining us. Dancers great, and how about the hair? Love it. Joe Petty, our mayor, look what you sponsored coming down the street here. Is that beautiful or what? Mayor Petty. It's a great day, they're doing a great job dancing, and the sun's coming out now, and they're having a great parade day here in the city of Worcester. I want to thank the whole committee for everything you're doing. It's a great day today. Thank you so much, Mayor Petty. And thanks for sponsoring these dancers. You look beautiful. You're keeping Irish culture alive. It's wonderful. Thanks for Mark Boyle is here carrying the banner. Dutiful husband <laughs> of the mayor. I don't know. To me, she looks more like the queen. <laughs> queen Mimi. We're waiting for you up here, Dottie, <laughs> to tell us about your reign. Right 
behind her are the pack mares of the parade. Providing us the minstrel boy. The pipe major is Jose Ramos. The drum major is Mike Clark. Great job, girls. Holding a banner is a tough job, believe me. What a great float. Thank you so much for educating us about Irish, Irish leaders and poets. That's great. Really authentic, good music. Worcester Kilty Band, sponsored by the City of Worcester elected officials. Your mascot. Does he have a name? Well, he's a polar bear. Uh, I, think be polar. I, I don't think he's Polar's polar bear. That is Orson, isn't he? But anyways, we want you students from North High to know we are behind you, 100%. We think you're great kids, and we think you come from a great school. And we're behind you, and thanks for marching today. They have over 160 cadets marching. with the Navy core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Their program is comprised of four naval science courses whose objectives include promoting patriotism, developing informed and responsible citizens of our Worcester community, and promoting a high degree of personal honor, self-reliance, individual discipline, and leadership. Invited by an Arabian diplomat to a party. And at this party was a very elaborate musical comedy. And at the end of that, people were brought into a, a, a membership and he took copious notes about all they did and how they did it and that was kind of the founding for the ritual of the Shriners. And that the Shrine Center in Los Angeles is built in the design of many of their temples which were Moorish in style. But here we have an Irish pipe band. 
you're sponsored by the Greater Worcester Police Emerald Society. They were the 2000 Sligo Award in 2014. Founded in 1996, the members and color guard from the Greater Worcester Police Pipes and Drums are made up of police officers from local and federal law enforcement. Let's listen. Dave Rutherford playing the drums in the back row there. All looking very sharp. Now we have the Blue Star Mothers. Incredible organization. And the second. Wow, marching strong here, the Girl Scouts. And this is cookie season, isn't it? Yeah? You're taking orders at the end of the parade here? Do you have any left? <laughs> Let's hear it for the Girl Scouts. Great. And Fantastical Warriors Marching Band. Wow. Love the outfits. Look at these plumes. Flag section. Santasqua. ...to support was the Mercy Center. It's done wonderful work in the city for many, many years, and they're represented uh, with their vehicle there. Here we have the Clinton High School marching bands, and I'm not surprised that their colors are green. Green and white and gold. Wow. I don't think that's a coincidence. as we're going to see. One of them is Ritmos. I think the group, maybe this one here might be Weight. Yes, this is the Weight team. The Weight team, through their dancing, tried to deliver a message to teens of abstinence as a way to prevent AIDS. Are you gonna dance, Ritmos? All right. And if you wanna see an encore of this, and I know you'll love it, the Latino Festival this summer. I think we have salsa music here, right? Most. And I think they're located right up here on Chandler Street, is that right? Grafton Street. Come uh on. -huh. 
Shea. I'm not sure if it's Walter Shea's relative, but probably his brother. There's enough of them. Here we have the Shriners out of Springfield, Mass. Wearing their typical headwear of a fez. And Melha is the name of their temple. Most temples do have Arabian names. The first uh, shrine temple in Manhattan got the name Mecca Temple. Thank you. Thanks for the great work you do, Shriners. That may have been David Butterfield, the potentate. The Shriners uh, meet monthly from 12, at 12 p.m. at the Manor Restaurant on the first Wednesday of the month. You can learn more about them at, on their website, too. This is the Shriners band here. They have a pipe band and, as you saw, a military band. They might even have a Middle Eastern one still. Colorful parades, circuses, and clowns. There's a very serious side to this international fraternity of 500. This is my favorite song. Here's the Middle Eastern band. Melha, Oriental Band out of Springfield, Massachusetts. And as I mentioned earlier, the Shriners kind of got their original rituals and their temples and their hats from an Arabian, Arabian theme. You'll notice on the car sign it says the Haji, and the Haji is. And here we have more Shriners playing for us. Let's give them a hand for the great work they do. And they do a lot of this fundraising by performing like this. They have fun. So again, if any of you are interested in learning more about We could talk a little bit about how the harp is the symbol of Ireland. You see it right here across from us on Guinness advertisements. It used to be on the Irish flag, the harp was. But it is on all Irish official documents and on the presidential flag and also on coins, Irish coins, have the harp. Okay, the, the Quaybog Highlanders Pipe Band is a non-profit, community-based, family-oriented, fun pipe band located in the scenic Quabog Hills of Western Massachusetts. As Celtic ambassadors of the Quabog Hills region, 
Their vision is to preserve Celtic heritage in the Pioneer Valley region. They were formed in 2003 and have grown to be one of the largest pipe bands in Western Massachusetts. They're all volunteer. This band is sponsored by John Mahoney. The restaurant is sponsoring the upcoming band. And by the way, that's a great place to go after the parade. It's the Narragansett High School Marching Band. I believe they're new to the parade. Great, great uniforms. Isn't this Narragansett group great? And you may notice they have different color belts according to their levels. Taekwondo Karate, uh, Korean Karate. And they learn a very disciplined life. And it's an, individual, it's an individual type of sport, so people aren't necessarily, well, they're not competing against others, but against themselves. So that's a great kind of sport for some kids. to go after the parade. We still have a lot more to go, though, and thank you all for staying. And don't we have the luck of the Irish today with the weather? All right. Everyday Miracles, a group helping people in need of recovery and treatment works. Yes, it does. Everyday Miracles is down at Harrington Corner on Pleasant Street. Fighting for people who need help from drug addiction. And they're probably recovering themselves there. All right. This is the Al Youngman Band. A Worcester Band. <laughs> 